Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how you can quickly sign a document on Google Docs. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in Google Docs. There are two ways you can add a signature to Google Docs. In this guide, I'll show you how to create your own signature. But there's also tools provided by companies such as DocuSign or Document Studio that allow you to add a signature to a document. Turning to how to create your own signature to add to a Google Doc, you can quickly do that using the Google Drawing tool. I'll quickly open a blank contract template I want to sign by clicking on it once from the Google Docs homepage. If I scroll to the very end of that document, you'll see there's a signature line shown there. To add my signature, I want to start by moving my mouse pointer to the place I want the signature to be shown. I'll place the cursor there by clicking once on the page. Once I'm happy it's roughly in the right place, I now need to open the Google Drawing tool. I can do this by moving to the top navigation bar in Google Docs. There's a number of options and icons shown here, but the one I'm interested in is the insert link. If I move my mouse pointer over that and click on it once to select it, an options list is then shown. And from that, I'll click on Drawing. I want to add a new drawing, so finally I'll click on the New option. The Google Drawing tool is then opened. Let's now set this up for me to add a signature. I want to write my signature, so I am going to choose the Line option by moving my mouse to that icon at the top of the drawing window. However, I don't just want to add a straight line, I want to write. So I'm going to move to the small down arrow to the right of the line, which will give me some more options. If I click on that, you'll see I'm offered a variety of options, but I'm interested in the last one on the list, scribble. I'll select that. You'll see my mouse pointer has now turned into a crosshair to indicate that I'm ready to write. All I now need to do is write my signature. You can see that it says Mr. Woggle. Right? I'm using a tablet to do this, but you can use your mouse or trackpad to do the same thing. Depending how comfortable you are writing with these tools, it might take a few tries to get your signature just right. If you need to delete any attempts and retry, you can quickly do that by moving to the icon bar at the top of the drawing tool. And if I move over the very first icon shown, you'll see there's an option to undo. If I click on that once, the signature is removed and I can write it again. Once you're happy with your signature, to confirm it, all you need to do is click on the large blue Save and Close button. The signature you created is then added to the document at the location you've placed your mouse pointer initially. If you select your signature so that the blue squares are shown on the edges of the signature, you can make it bigger or smaller by selecting a corner and dragging it to the right size. If you wish, you can even change the colour of it. Whilst my signature is still selected, I'll click back into the drawing tool by choosing the edit option. And if I move my mouse over my signature and select it once more, to change the colour, I'll click on the black line icon in the top bar. A colour picker is then shown, and I can choose the colour I prefer from these options. To confirm that once more, I'll click on the blue save and close button and you'll see the colour of our signature has now been updated. I hope you find this Woggle Guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like this video or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.